Washington yeah. State. Yeah. Let's give it up for Miss Ying. Ying Vigilant! Yeah. Yes, hello, Laurel Island! Yeah! Yes, Squirrel Island! Yeah. You call yourself, I like that sentiment! Yeah, how about that? Uh, this is my second time come to Long Island. So two times I got off that train, I take a look, walk 10, 20 blocks, and it's like, wow, this is America that I know! Right? The quiet street, everybody driving car, everybody living in the houses, and nobody live in high rises. Yes, Long Island is America. So give it up to yourself, guys. Yes. Yeah. And if I take the train and go back to New York City, when I get off the subway, I'm like, wow, this is China that I know. <laughs> you know, it's all the crowds and the food vendors and the hustling and the bustling and the and then the, the busy street and the high rises. Just like China. Everybody live in an apartment building. You know, yes. So uh, uh, that is China. And here is Washington State slash America. I'm so happy to be here. Yeah, very happy. A uh, little bit about myself. Yeah, my name is Yin. I'm looking for Yan. <laughs> Anybody? Yes. By that I mean, I'm not picky. Okay, just trying to get laid. <laughs> And New York City is the right place. We got a nine million of you guys, right? New Yorkers uh, are thinking there gotta be a penis for me. <laughs> so yes, uh, yes. Uh, I uh, lived uh, Spokane, Washington, for twenty six years, guys. Twenty six years. I did it just to prove I'm not a tourist. <laughs> yes. If I hear that again, go back to your country and keep that shit to yourself. Okay, I'm here to stay. Guys, yeah. thank you. I'm here to stay. Yeah. yeah, but originally, I'm from mainland China. Mainland China? No fans. No fans. Man, that's tough, yeah? yeah that's tough. But uh, you can tell me now that I, I speak very heavy Alabama accents, y'all. Yeah. Bless your heart, y'all. Yeah, I, I do think the uh, southern accents is the most difficult access to understand. I don't blame you, okay? But don't worry, all my jokes are made in America. <laughs> yes. Uh, so uh, during the pandemic, right, we spent so much time the lockdown at home. So I was catching up all the movies and the TV shows that I've been missing. Okay, one TV show that I finally catching up is uh, Fresh on the Boat. You hear that? Fresh on the Boat about a Chinese immigrant family. Actually, it's a New York immigrant Chinese family, you know, so highly recommend it, okay? Doesn't seem like people are watching that. Yeah, so uh, I was watching it, right? Three episodes in. I was like, oh, I'm not sure I like this, you know, because it's not my immigrant story. So I'm thinking, I'm getting off no fucking boat. You know, matter of fact, I have to jump on a ship to stay in this country. It's called a relationship. <laughs> yes, I literally married a white guy to get my green card. So thank you, white people. Thank you for your green card ship. Yes, your ship worked. You know, thank you. Uh, before that one, there's another ship. Okay, it's called a scholarship. Yes, I, uh, I got a scholarship, and that ship helped me finish my master's degree in chemical engineering. So thank you again, America. I love your ship, okay? Yes, I, you guys, every one of you here, all in America, you turn my life around from hardship in China to like a cruise ship in America. So thank you. Thank you guys. Uh, but I, I do need to stop this ship thing because I feel like I don't want to be a bad rapper. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Uh, guys, uh, but the ship is not on my store, okay? And 2003. I became United States citizen by choice. Yeah, by choice. When I say by choice, I mean literally, I have to give up my Chinese passport. Okay, because China is a country. They don't like that you're loyal to two tribes. Okay, just sounds familiar? You can't worship two gods. Right? Christian God is the only God. So China paid attention. 
They took a page out of your playbook. Okay? So uh, uh, after I uh, picked my team, Team USA, USA, and China said, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, but at the time, though, it's a real struggle. It's a real struggle for me because my family was against it. My dad was okay, but my, my mom uh, is not because she is a hardcore communist, my mom. So we were on the phone. My mom says, okay, you got your green card, right? Thank you again for white guys. You know? So she said, so you can travel back and forth freely. Why you want more? You know, you, well, what do you want? You want a democracy? You want to vote? Is that it? You know, I'm like, I guess so. That's what I wanted. Uh, so guess what? My mom vote me out of her will. <laughs> so she voted first. Yeah, but at the time, I was thinking, you know, it's a country that your ex-president called a shithole country. So why would I care? Shit, shit apartment in a shithole country. So go ahead, keep it. You know, I, but my brother was worse. My brother called me a traitor. You know, and he said, never come back. You know, that's why I love this country. You know, because we already have a traitor. His name is a traitor Joe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so the rest of us will be spared being called a traitor. You know, um, so during the pandemic, another movie that I catch up is Moonlight. You know, heard that one? Moonlight 2.0. Right, the four a uh, 1.0 is a Disney version of animation. Right, the Mulan is a real story happening in China 1400 years ago. So I'm like, I watch it again. Like the Mulan shit is just too hard. You know, it's like she has to pretend to be a man and join the army and fight enemy. Literally, save China to earn a Hollywood movie role. You know, so I'm saying I, I cannot do that even uh, 1400 years later. If there any woman I could do, if any girl that I could model is a sleeping beauty. Because what she had to do, all she did is to sleep and wake the fuck up. <laughs> so I could do that. Uh, thank you. That's uh, my say. You made